557 to 92 votes. It was an overwhelming majority with which European lawmakers slammed the British government for their lack of progress on Brexit negotiations. They're fighting amongst themselves like ferrets in a sack while the UK's national interest, however we define it, is ignored by them utterly. Shame on them. It is not good enough for Europe. It's not good enough for the UK either. In its final resolution, the European Parliament declared sufficient progress has not yet been made on major issues such as citizens' rights, the Irish border and the financial settlement. A surprise for lawmakers? That the Brexiteers didn't believe the tiniest little bit in their own propaganda and they were surprised that they were so successful in fooling the British people and unprepared as they had, they now are in the mess that they created. So in a way it's not a surprise. Just last week, UK Prime Minister Theresa May appeared the to have broken the, the stalemate in negotiations after signalling for the first time her country is ready to settle the Brexit to bill. To the British parliamentarians say the criticism is unfair. Well, it's certainly bash up the Brits day, isn't it? You have not given one iota. It's all very well holding 27 member states together in terms of unity, but quite frankly, what we're seeing now is a facade and theatre from the Parliament in terms of the negotiations. They are not serious, and the sooner this country, the United Kingdom, leaves, the better. Ever Mrs. May says or does, well, today's vote is not binding. It reflects the current mood in the EU Parliament. The body that will have to approve any final deal between the bloc and Britain. It's a ceasefire. It's a little bit I have to tell you. This Good Friday.